Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey. All right, today I was going to do a paid product review for something that I've been using, but I have decided not to take the company's money. I will say, however, that they did send me the examples of their product so that I can show them to you and show you what's available, but I have been using this product long before they ever reached out to me to do a review. They watched the couple of things that I did put out there and they liked my style, I guess. So they asked me if I would do another review after they revamped their website and fixed up their app a little bit. So I agreed to it. But the bottom line is here is that I've been using this product and I would continue to use it anyways, whether they paid me to do this review or not. So like I said, this is not a paid review, although the company did provide me with examples of their product to show you guys what they've got. That being said, Let's get into it. So paper business cards. If you're like me, you've got hundreds of those laying in your drawers, probably in your purse or your bag, in your car, in your pockets. I mean, they're everywhere. But the thing is, is that that's just not the way to do things anymore. And like, if you look at my card right here, you can see that it, it gets pretty beat up. I mean, it's wrinkled, it gets ripped, the corners get frayed, it gets dirty. You know, you put a bunch of them in your bag. If you put them in your wallet or you have a card carrier that's not like super like heavy duty metal, they get bent and they get warped and they get frayed. And sometimes I've been like, okay, sorry, this is the best card I've got. It's stained and it looks ugly. That's it. I don't want to use that anymore. And I thought there's got to be a better way to do that because these things are expensive, number one. It's just wasteful and they're incredibly inconvenient. And I've literally got them laying all over the place and they all look like crap. I started researching alternate methods for being able to get your information out there to people. And I thought, well, I mean, the joke is there's an app for that. And actually there is an app for it, but more importantly, the future is the digital business card. Most of these cards have what they call NFC technology, which is near field communication. Most modern cell phones these days have NFC chips inside of them. And what that means is that you can take something that has an NFC chip in it, have information programmed to it, and you can go up near the device and it will read that information. So there are near field communication chips in business cards, rings, bracelets, you name it, wherever they can stick a chip, I mean, they can make an NFC product. I thought, okay, that looks pretty cool. Well, it started to get kind of on the radar and I looked around and I started researching all the various companies and when it got right down to it, I liked Mobilo the best. So I decided, hey, I'll use it. I'll give it a try. So I went to the Mobilo site and I paid for a custom designed card because I didn't want one that had Mobilo's little M logo on it and I wanted it my own design. So at the time, what I did was I went out and I made one that looked exactly like my business card. It had my logo on it, the information that I chose and all that kind of stuff. And I asked to have that designed. I paid a little bit additional because I wanted a custom card and they made it and they sent it to me and I got it just like that. Now, what's so interesting about these cards? Well, the thing is, is that you can get your information to people in a number of different ways. One way is to tap. It's a tap card. So you have them bring out their phone and then you take your card and you tap and boom, the little thing comes up at the top there and it says website NFC tag. And then you click on that and it brings up your card, technically all your information that you want them to have. And in my case, it's all the different sites that I post my pictures to. Now, what it does is it brings up a Mobilo link and that way I can keep track when somebody like accesses that information and I can go through and see that people are actually taking the information and using it and going and looking at my pictures. So that's pretty cool. Now, the thing is, is that this works with both iOS and Android. Most modern phones have NFC chips in them. Now, if they don't, there are other ways around that and you can get those additional pieces as well. They've got you covered on that. They've got buttons, they've got key fobs, and of course, they have plastic cards. They've got wood. <laughs> and they also have stainless steel. When I'm walking around the woods and I'm carrying my big ass birding setup, I get approached pretty much every time I go out. So when people come up and they say, hey, do you have a website? Do you post your pictures anywhere? I said, yeah, 
You have a smartphone, they pull out their phone because nobody walks in the woods without a phone. They pull out their phone and you can do one of two things. You can either tap it or what I've found to be more convenient for me is that you can show the QR code on the back. So the QR code is on the back of the plastic. It's on the back of the wood. It's also on the back of the stainless steel card. So all they have to do is pull their phone out, point the lens at the QR code. As soon as the camera sees the QR code, boom, it'll bring up another link like it did when you tapped it and they can tap on that and get all the information. Now, the other convenient thing is, is that if you have a phone that you can get apps on, which like 99% of people these days do, except for my father, is that you can bring your own phone out and you can go into the app and you can tap on share and that brings up a QR code. All they have to do is turn on their camera and scan the QR code and it'll bring up all the information that you want them to have. Now, when I say you can show them the information that you want them to have, you can go onto their website and you can go to your own special dashboard and you can change all that information. So I'm gonna show you that right now. Once you go to the dashboard and log in on the Mobilo site, here you can see the dashboard and it gives you all the stats, number of taps, number of leads if you have that set up, all the different information that you wanna see. You can go to your profile settings and boom, now it gives you, do you wanna use this avatar? All your personal information all down along here. So if you wanna put your full name, your title, a certificate if you have it, a company, if you have a company that you work for, all the email address, the physical address, your business address, Everything is on there. And then you can go down through your social media. It includes LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Snapchat, TikTok, Twitch, Yelp, WeChat, Pinterest, Spotify, SoundCloud. And you can even put in information if you wanna be able to accept payments and put all those in there. There's just a wealth of information here. All the different messaging apps are over here on the side as well. And you can put any of that in there and change it anytime you want. Now, if you wanna do lead generation, there's also a way to go in here and do that. Now, I don't have that because I don't use it, so can't really tell you too much about it. Now, this is where you can go and you can control all the different cards that you have. So, if you look through here on the side, I've got the metal card, a custom card, another custom card, a wooden card, all the different kind of cards that I have for this. Here you can go in and you can integrate different accounts in, which I also don't do. You can create a signature for any one of your cards. And here you can go into the actual settings where you change your email address, your password, you can contact support. Now, again, you can go through here and you can fix anything. Remember, you can change this anytime you want to. So if you get a different phone number, or if you get a new address, or you wanna change anything about what you're presenting, you can do that. In a nutshell, that's the website, and it's very simple to use. Easy peasy, right? You can go to that website, it's so convenient. You don't even have to have a phone that you can download the app to, to do all that stuff with. You just have to go onto your computer or any computer, and you can log in and you can change all that information whenever you want to. And you can also go onto the app. If you have a phone that you're capable of getting the app for, you can go to the app, and then you can go in to each various card that you have set up because all of these different cards are gonna show up on there as separate cards. And it's gonna show you like the wood one, the metal one. And then you can go in and you can tap on the little edit icon and you can go through and edit the information that way. I find it very convenient to be able to go into the website because I like working on my gigantic screens and all my computers and all that stuff. So I can go in there and I can change the information whenever I want to. Remember, you're using these cards to get your information out there, to share your work, to share yourself with other people in the most convenient way. And let me tell you, this old dirty paper card, that's gone the way of the dodo. Do yourself a favor and go get yourself a Mobilo card. You won't regret it. All right, so that's it. That's all you get for today. Now, I'm gonna link to Mobilo's site so that you can go check them out. Remember, I don't get jack for doing this because I've chosen not to take anything. I think Mobilo's got the best thing going on and I want you guys to get in on it. So that's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.